What is going on you guys? Peplatypus here and it is time to talk about Mob Psycho 100 Episode 8. This was a really damn good episode of Mob Psycho 100. Uh, definitely live reaction worthy, uh, at least the middle portion. But I didn't know that going in, so well, yeah, what can you do? But starting off with the technical aspects of the episode, music, sound design, all that stuff, pretty good as usual. Uh, in terms of art and animation, it's really, really good in this episode. Uh, really fantastic animation when Mob is fighting this other psychic dude who... Did we get his name? I don't know if we got his name. He Obviously, he works for Claw, but yeah. His powers were cool, too. Like those gauntlets of psychic energy that he put on that could break right through Mob's barriers. Uh, the animation, like I said, fantastic. They played a little loose with the anatomy of the characters, uh, especially when Mob was getting beat around. But it still looked really nice. Really fluid animation. Then Mob peaks at 100, and they fight again, and Mob is beating the shit out of him, obviously. But it's really, really well done. You know, zooming up the building, and going in midair, and then slamming back down and shit. There's some camera angles I couldn't quite follow what was happening, like when it was scaling up the building and stuff. Like, there was... I feel like they could have angled the animation a bit better, if that makes any sense. But overall, it still looks fantastic. Uh, when he gets slammed through the building, it looks great, and just overall, it looks just, just fucking awesome. But like I said, a couple of camera angles here and there couldn't quite... I could tell what was happening, but I would have placed it a little bit differently personally, and uh, um, there was a couple too many effects in some, of the, in some of the hits, but still some really good choreography as well. Like when Mob dashes at him, he lands a hit, slams a dude, and then the dude does this kick and knocks Mob away, and then he catches Mob's brother before he hits the ground. Like that was a really cool, well-choreographed sequence. So animation and art, easily 11 out of 10. They look fantastic. Um, they just, they, that was just great animation. Uh, then we find out about this Claw organization. Now Mob is going to team up with, uh, I think he's like calling him by his last name now or something. By his name, like Teru or whatever. Dude with the big ass Marge Simpson wig. Um, they're going to team up to rescue him. So we kind of have like a rescue arc going on. So really good story progression there. Getting introduced to this new antagonist organization. Really good progression there. Uh, I definitely want to see what the psychic dude with the sword can do, because that was really, really cool, just seeing that guy. He had a cool design, and he could just be a really cool badass. And this other guy was cool, too, with the gauntlets and everything, like I said. But, yeah, so, so far, these guys are pretty cool. And even though Mob obviously beat the shit out of this guy, because Mob's OP as fuck, and hacks as fuck, um, these guys are still pretty powerful in their own right. So, definitely curious what's going to happen going forward, and... Yeah, story progression was really solid. Art, or not art, uh, music and voice acting, everything was good. Uh, so pretty much high marks for this episode overall. It was well paced too. So yeah, really, really fun episode. Really enjoyable. And there's really not much else to say outside the technical aspects of the episode. Um, it's just a really good one. You know, it was really fun. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything... Like I said, those tiny nitpicks with some of the camera angles and stuff, but overall they handled it pretty damn well. I don't know how it compares to the uh, webcomic or manga or whatever, but I really enjoyed it. I'm curious to see what this sequence actually probably looked like in the manga. I'm kind of curious, because I know even though Mob Psycho does match the manga's art style, it still looks better than the actual uh, manga, but whatever. Um, I'll have to maybe check that out sometime, but... Yeah, not much to say. Really good fight. Um, oh, I guess there was also characterization, too. I guess I can add that to the technical aspects of the episode. The characterization was pretty good on Ritsu. I still don't get why he's, like, evil. Like, not evil, evil, but, like, he talks to Mob about how he was never really admiring him, and he would say things like, are you okay, brother? You know, blah, blah. And apparently it was an act. You know, he wasn't really a goody two-shoes brother. He was kind of scared of him and jealous, obviously. And... I still don't know if it justifies him being such a dick to people, because I don't know if being scared of your brother's powers and being jealous of your brother's power really makes you a dick inherently. I don't know, I'm still not a fan of how he's being characterized, uh, at least in its execution. Again, I don't mind him um, leaning more towards being an asshole. That's fine, I just don't like how it's being executed. Um, but, you know, that's just me. And maybe it's done better in the webcomic, who knows? Uh, but overall, it was still a really damn good episode. I wouldn't give it an 11 out of 10. I don't think it was quite that mind-blowing of an episode, uh, but it was still a really fucking good one. I'd definitely give it an easy 10 out of 10. It's pretty much a perfect episode of the series. Uh, to get that 11, though, you just really have to... It, it's really just... Something with me just has to get struck. It just... It's, it's random, really, what it is. It just sometimes I feel like an 11, and sometimes it's just... 
a great, I mean, a 10 out of 10. Like, you can't complain about that. You you really can't complain. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a fantastic episode. Definitely, definitely recommend checking out checking it out if you haven't checked it out. But if you haven't checked it out, I don't know why you're watching this. But anyways, rambling aside, what did you guys think of this episode of Mob Psycho 100? Go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. I'm Pat Platos on both. You can also give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both of those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.